BBC One joins the BBC News Channel in a few minutes. First, if you're making plans for Sunday, let's get a late night check on the weather now with John Hammond. Hello, I know many of us are asking, where is the summer gone? Well, we must be patient. Certainly no sign of anything particularly hot or sunny on the horizon. No sooner does one low pressure ease away from eastern areas, there is another one knocking on the door coming in from the Atlantic. But just for a time, I think through Sunday, uh, things will be somewhat drier and brighter than they were on Saturday. So generally fewer showers and those which do occur will be somewhat lighter. There will be a few exceptions though and uh, the zone from southwest Scotland down through the borders into parts of northeast England will stay persistently cloudy I think not only through the rest of tonight but through much of tomorrow. Uh, to the north and to the south drier and under the clearest of the skies through some northern highland glens we could see a touch of frost. Soon warming up though and plenty of sunshine across northern Scotland, central and southern parts of England and Wales. Northern Ireland not doing too badly. It's that zone though again through uh, parts of southwest Scotland in towards northeast England which will once more stay rather cloudy with the threat of further pulses of showery rain on and off throughout much of the day and that'll keep it decidedly cool. In the sunshine though across the northern half of Scotland with light winds it should feel quite pleasant 17, 18 degrees. Uh, for Northern Ireland the odd shower around particularly in the east but uh, some brighter spells in the offing as well and again 17 in Belfast. For much of Wales and indeed the southwest of England in comparison with Saturday it will be a drier brighter day. I'm not ruling out the odd shower but uh, generally broken clouds, sunny spells, lightish winds and temperatures up to uh, the mid to high teens. It shouldn't feel too bad. For the test match at the Rose Bowl, again, I'm optimistic. We might catch one or two showers, but uh, nothing like the storms which we saw on Saturday. As we go into the evening and night, the rain finally dies out from uh, these northeastern areas, but there's more rain spreading up from the south from that next low pressure system, getting into southwestern parts of England and Wales by around about dawn. And the message is for much of the coming week, it does stay quite unsettled with the prospect of further rain. And that includes Wimbledon, of course. Across uh, northern areas, that rain will be last to arrive, but it will eventually, this low pressure and frontal systems continuing to push their way up from the southwest. So uh, the best of the dry and bright weather on Monday will be across the northern half of the UK. Uh, cloud and rain spreading into many southern and central areas. Uh, some of that rain will be quite heavy at times, I think, and it will arrive across the north by the time we reach uh, the middle of the week. Some fairly heavy and persistent rain at times, and as a consequence, once more, temperatures will be pretty disappointing for the time of year. Further south, it's uh, far from settled. I think there will be some drier and brighter spells, but not to be relied upon. Some fairly blustery showers at times. And even further south, uh, there will still be some showers, maybe a little bit of a respite on Tuesday before the heavier showers return again through the middle of the week. So further interruptions expected at Wimbledon. Much more detail about this, uh, this changeable pattern can be found online or the red button, of course, page 400. That's it. Good night. If you knock the cup over, it's two minutes to reboil the kettle. If he knocks it over, it's two months of skin grafts. Look at it from their point of view. For more ideas on how to make your home safe, contact your local Sure Start Children's Centre or call 0800 678 3388. OK, watch this. So, Lewis Hamilton, this is how you pass a Ferrari. Somebody in there has wet themselves. No! Yes! If you like line dancing and you have an attack dog, you need a Corvette. Listen to that noise, it's my mighty Fiat pouring in the tunnel at Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> All new Top Gear starts Sunday, 26th of June on BBC Two. Here on BBC One and BBC One HD, we'll head into the early hours now with nighttime BBC News.